Hey everyone, Dan here. We are just after market close on uh, Tuesday, March 16th. Wanted to take a look at a few of the tickers that we've been tracking. Uh, as always, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. Also, leave comments below if you have your own ideas that you'd like to share or questions you'd like to ask. And lastly, if there are tickers that you would like me to cover in these videos, please just leave them below and I will add them in, to a future video. All right, kicking things off with SOS. Um, this is a chart from a few days ago, but I, I think it's still holding up. So uh, we saw this was yesterday. It jumped off of our support here and then, you know, fight from resistance to support at this 804 level. It ultimately gave that up in the pre-market and then it couldn't hold this 771 either. Tried to hold the 755 um, and then has basically been fighting around the 730. So um, that's most recent resistance as far as this one hour chart is concerned. And so I'd like to see it um, get above that pretty easily if we're going to continue to have bullish sentiment in SOS because it fell through it. It, it didn't act as, as much support at all, uh, 730, uh, it, today at least. Um, yesterday it did, but not today. And so um, being that it, it then hit it as resistance points in the uh, candles leading up to close, you know, I'm hoping that it's just pretty flimsy resistance also. So we can quickly get back on the support side of that and uh, sort of ladder up from there. That's SOS, AMC. Um, Ignore the channel for now, because that's actually something we'll flip to on the five-minute chart, I think, in a minute. Um, if not, we'll just pop back to it and take a look. But, um, you know, AMC had had a great day yesterday, and it had gotten into this sort of, like, upper um, t price target that I had laid out. This was, like, the ideal bullish price target for the week. So, you know, as I lay out these weekly price targets, just remember, like, it can, co it can come up to it very quickly and then leave it. It can blow past it and then come back down to it. It's sort of like where I think that we'll end up um, by the end of the week. But, you know, it doesn't necessarily talk about what's going to happen in between. Um, that's sort of what these daily videos are for. But uh, today, you know, it sort of struggled a little bit, but held really well at this like 1240 level. And so that was a great sign. Um, and, you know, I don't know if anyone sort of like panic sold today, but to me, this wasn't this clearly wasn't a panic sell kind of situation. As we talked about in yesterday's video, there is this like a lot of run room between 1366 and 1191. And I even said yesterday, if we lose the 1366 support and it turns to resistance, it'll likely sell off toward 1191 and not reach 1191. And that that would actually be a really good sign. If you go back and watch yesterday's video, you'll hear me say that. Um, and I say, you know, it might sort of get stuck in, in between here a little bit and then come back up to retest 1366 and see if it can take it as support. So that's sort of like what's going on with AMC at this point. I think if we zoom in on the five minute chart, you know, as the day was progressing, I saw this channel kind of forming and so I drew it in. So the good thing here is it has been respecting this channel several times. It's touched the bottom of the channel. Um, I'd like to see it obviously having more uh, upward momentum and and sort of feeling out the higher end of the channel as well, that would put it back toward this 1366 as we approach tomorrow morning. Um, and so, you know, if you are looking for entry points, again, the way that we look at channels, for as long as a stock is holding its channel, it, the, the good buy zones are toward the bottom of the channel um, and the, you know, take profit Areas are toward the top of the channel if that's what you're looking to do. So we'll see if it can hold this one. Uh, again, this is on my five minute chart. It's just specific to the price action as it happened today. Uh, like yesterday's is, in the pre market is not caught in this. So just started today. Let's see how it does. Uh, let's flip over to GameStop. Um, apologies if you hear all the screaming in the background. That is my baby. Um, and there's no other time that I can do this video. And <laughs> Um, so I can't really stop and re-record. So apologies if that's loud and distracting. I'll do my best to edit the video so that it's not. Um, GameStop as sort of like, 
continued to have a little bit of a push downward. Um, this morning, especially, you know, it seemed like there was a bit of panic in GameStop as people saw it falling through 200, especially. But, you know, what I've been saying all along is there's these big cushions of support. Um, and I do, you know, we have the, these sort of like grouped by colors. The colors here don't specifically mean anything. They're more aligned with, um, you know, when I had drawn them in. Uh, so, but, but they do go together as sort of like their own cushions. So you have your blue cushions, your yellow cushions, your purple cushions, and then more yellow cushions. Um, but they're just sort of like ones that I look at as like groups of support and resistance levels. So it does have this yellow cushion now. Obviously, previously we were, um, trying that upper yellow cushion of resistance and weren't able to bust through it. So we fell through my bearish price zone for the week. But we're, we're coming back into it today, um, which is a good sign because, I mean, you know, it's the bearish price zone, but <laughs> we, can, we have to come back through it in order to work our way upward. So so be it. Um, so, yeah, to me, I didn't make any changes. I think that, like, our cushion is holding relatively well. If we flip over to the five minutes, I did see toward the end of the day, if you check my Twitter, I had sent out a tweet. Um, I think it was right around this time. Uh, I had drawn in this these white lines and I had said, you know, GameStop is developing this flagging pattern on the five minute chart. Let's see if it can, um, let's see what happens when it flags out because it was going to no matter what by after hours, um, even if it pushed down into here. So it's sort of falling back into it. So what we look for when something flags out is that it makes a pretty substantial move one way or another. Um, and so hopefully if it can maintain above and pop out of this, um, diagonal white line here that I can start to push toward that 225 price targets and um, and flip that to support and use that essentially as a springboard. Um, but again, if not, we have these yellow price targets as levels of support for the time being. All right, that's it for this one. I hope you all had a good day and um, that you're doing good prep work for tomorrow. And good luck if you're in any of these plays. Feel free to tweet me. I'll put my handle in the description below. And I will see you all in the next video.